We just hit 1,000 subscribers and obtained monetization for YouTube. But let's go even crazier and predict when we will get 1 million subscribers and obtain the golden button from YouTube. But not only that, we're going to also predict when we obtain 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, obtaining the silver button. And let's go even crazier and predict when we get 10 million subscribers, obtaining the diamond play button from YouTube. Let's plot a scatter diagram that measures how many subscribers this channel has obtained after a certain number of months. As the amount of time passes, the number of subscribers increase at an increasing rate, which suggests to us that the number of subscribers change according to an exponential model. However, it is really difficult to predict the equation of the curve since there are not many math tools that we can use to do so. If instead we convert it into a straight line by taking logarithms, we do have many tools to calculate this prediction. The data points after modification resemble that of a straight line. This suggests that we should model these points using a best fit line. But there are many lines that we can choose from to make our prediction. Which of these lines is really the best line? The idea is to compare the line with the data points itself. The data points don't lie exactly on the line, and what we hope to do is to compute their errors. We can try to add up the squares of each of these errors so that we obtain a positive error in the end, and consider the various lines that we could use to fit the data. Each of these lines would contribute a certain amount of error, and the best line is the line that minimizes this error. The greater the error, the worse the line. And the smaller the error, the better the line. When all the dust settles, our error would turn out to be approximately 0.6 rounded up to the nearest decimal place. Furthermore, we see that this line lies really really close to each of these points. We can measure the closeness of this line using the correlation coefficient r. If this number is closer to 1, this suggests to us a much stronger suspected correlation between the number of subscribers and the amount of time that has elapsed. We're going to try to now use this model to predict when we will obtain our various subscriber milestones. For example, at 10,000 subscribers, we will take the logarithm of that and try to project how much time has passed before we actually reach that milestone. Doing a bit of algebra, this number amounts to approximately 18.93. But how do we actually use this information to deduce when we obtain 10,000 subscribers? We can calculate the year as the number of years after 2023. The double slash 12 here means how many 12s can we fit inside 18.93? Well, 12 fits in 18.93, but 24, which is 2 times 12, does not. This means that this number is 1, and 2023 plus 1 gives us 2024. Since 1 year has passed, we're going to subtract 12 months to obtain 6.93 months, and the month in which we obtain 10,000 subscribers is given by rounding up this number. In this case, if we round up 6.93, we will obtain the number 7, which corresponds to July. But the decimal part would tell us how much of the month has passed. So we're going to extract the decimal portion, 0.93, and ask how much of the month has passed. Well, since the month of July has 31 days, we'll take this number multiplied by 31 and we're going to round up to obtain the integer number of days that passed in that month. Plugging these numbers into our calculator, we are going to obtain the 29th day. In other words, we predict that on the 29th of July, 2024, our channel is going to obtain 10,000 subscribers. Well, what about 100,000 subscribers? Following the trajectory of our predicted line, we will hit 100,000 subscribers after 26.19 months. Processing this data, the year that we obtain is 2025, the month we obtain is 3, and the day we obtain is 6, which means that we predict that on the 6th of March 2025, our channel is going to hit 100,000 subscribers. 
what about a million subscribers? If we repeat the exact same process, the amount of time that has passed is 33.45 months, which amounts to the date 15 of October 2025. But going even crazier, what about 10 million subscribers? The amount of time that passed is 40.72 months, which amounts to the 23rd of May 2026. Let's hope that this video really ages well. Just to recap, we plotted our points, transformed it in an information-preserving manner, calculated the line of best fit for the data, and then cheekily used it to predict the different dates in which we obtain our various subscriber milestones. On the 29th of July 2024, we're going to obtain 10,000 subscribers. On the 6th of March 2025, we're going to obtain 100,000 subscribers. And if the trend line continues, on the 15th of October 2025, we obtain a million subscribers and carry it further on the 23rd of May 2026, we should be able to get our diamond play button. Getting monetized couldn't have been done without you guys who enjoy these videos. But what was the video that pushed this channel beyond a thousand subscribers? That is the video in the screen here.